yesterday I started to feel really bad again in my head um, and I decided this week I'm going to look at what my diagnosis actually means um, and that is, God, it's a bloody mouthful, acute polymorphic psychotic disorder um, and apparently your mood can swing a lot. So I'm so chuffed, um, I've had a bit of a crap day as lots of people feel like it, they're putting me down or saying I'm crap. Maybe it's just how I'm translating it, but I'm not very good with negativity. But I just got a phone call from that award that I did this morning, that presentation, and we got the award. I'm off to church now. I normally don't give myself a break in the day, um, but I'm gonna go to a group, so hopefully that will make me feel better this week and less anxious. I've just had a quick shower and a bit of makeup on after I went to my hit class this morning. Although I had major disaster after doing all the horrid high intensity interval training exercises. I love it and hate it in equal measure. Um, I forgot my towel and my shoes for work. Um, so I've come home and then I found out that I've been shortlisted for two more awards. So that means this week I've got an award almost each day. It's, yeah, it's definitely been ups and downs and I'm trying to change my mindset because it's negative at the moment. We've had a bit of a tricky week um, with somebody um, very lovely passing away um, but I am trying to change my mindset to focus on the positives of the week um, and so I'm off to my church group this morning um, to pray for that person. I thought we'd have a little look online, which I have already, but he might be interested. Um, and then I'm gonna put another shout out on social media um, because it seems like there's not a lot of answers and normally you can find everything online, um, but acute polymorphic psychotic disorder, there is not an awful lot. Morning everyone, it's Monday and I'm off to Leeds on the dreaded train, I hate trains. Um, but this week I thought, well I was originally going to do it like my breastfeeding diary. But I think I'm going to do that next week because yesterday I started to feel really bad again in my head. Um, and I decided this week I'm going to look at what my diagnosis actually means. Um, and that is, God, it's a bloody mouthful, acute polymorphic psychotic disorder. Um, and apparently your mood can swing a lot, um, but I still don't quite know what it means. So that's something I'm going to try and discover today. So I hope you're all okay to come on that journey with me. Um, because I was feeling okay last week and now I feel like poo. So I committed to do a presentation this morning and um, it's to win an award for our own email group North, which is about media group, which I co-own with Daria, who kindly ended this video. Um, my mental health's not great, I thought it was That quote's good, it is the mind which creates the world around us. That's so true, which is the mind that creates the world around us. Literally right on cue, just what I was saying. <laughs> oh, face fears and get on the train. Phew, I found it. So I've just come out, I nearly couldn't find it. I nearly was late as I got here early. But I get so lost even with Google Maps. Thank God I found it at Yorkshire. Um, I'm not sure how it went. It was, at least they didn't. I don't know. You never know, do you, with audiences? Because people, you look at their faces and you think, "Oh my days, I'm talking too fast and I am boring you." Um, so yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was all right. I told them about our love story of how Daria and I met. Um, but yeah. We'll see, we found out this afternoon um, 
whether we got the award or not. So fingers crossed, I'll let you know. So I'm so chuffed. Um, I've had a bit of a crap day as lots of people feel like it, they're putting me down or saying I'm crap. Maybe it's just how I'm translating it, but I'm not very good with negativity. But I just got a phone call from that award that I did this morning, that presentation, and we got the award. So I'm so chuffed because that's like £7,000 worth of like legal advice, accountancy, all the boring stuff I'm not very good at um, to help us grow our little team of women in tech. Oh, there you are. So I've done my legs, bums and tums. I'm feeling really fat at the moment, like humongous, like really getting really anxious. Um, but I'm off to church now. I normally don't give myself a break in the day, um, but I'm gonna go to a group. So hopefully that will make me feel better this week and less anxious. So church was really good, but it was quite heavy. It was on rejection. Um, so my makeup is now smudged from crying. Um, but I'll tell you more about that later. Um, I'm just going to pick up some business post. So trying to look smiley and bright. Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. Um, I've just had a quick shower and a bit of makeup on after I went to my hit class this morning. Although I had major disaster after doing all the horrid high intensity interval training exercises. I love it and hate it in equal measure. Um, I forgot my towel and my shoes for work. Um, so I've come home and then I found out that I've been shortlisted for two more awards. So that means this week I've got an award almost each day. Um, and whilst I should be celebrating, which I am so pleased, because people have been negative to me at the moment about what I do or it's really hard to change your mindset. And I know people say, just do it, have a positive mindset. Um, but it's really difficult and I'm trying to focus on all the positives, but that negative voice of people putting me down is still there. Um, so yesterday, for example, at church, we did rejection, um, which ended up making me cry. Um, and it's a bit like how it always sticks on you, with the little bits of rejection or negativity. Um, and it's really hard just to shake it out. Um, and how we have to trust in our own value and being of high value. So I brought home some positive affirmations like I am of high value, um, I am worthy and stuff. It's just trying to say them so that I believe them, um, which is hard, but I will try. I'm doing my best, feeling more positive anyway today after a bit of exercise. Then I've got my mental health nurse coming round tomorrow um so we'll see how that goes anyway i better get off to work as i'm working in the cafe today so i'll see you in a bit so i've been at coactive today um we've been doing some drama dance um and some admin and chris my husband has kindly bought me some flowers he never buys me flowers um but it is eight years since we first met but he refuses to celebrate that. So maybe it's cause I've had a tough week. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely been ups and downs and I'm trying to change my mindset cause it's negative at the moment. So I've done the nursery drop off. It's Friday. I've actually been to a spinning class this morning. So I feel a lot better in myself when I'm doing exercise. Um, we've had a bit of a tricky week um, with somebody um, very lovely passing away. Um, but I am trying to change my mindset to focus on the positives of the week. Um, and so I'm off to my church group this morning um, to pray for that person. Um, and then 
I've not done amazingly at actually finding out about my diagnosis um, and I thought we'd have a little look online which I have already but you might be interested um, and then I'm going to put another shout out on social media um, because it seems like there's not a lot of answers and normally you can find everything online um, but acute polymorphic psychotic disorder there is not an awful lot see what we can find online acute polymorphic psychotic disorder with kids in the background as ever there's lots of scholarly art scholarly articles um, which are long-winded um, but we'll see if we can read a little bit from world health organization um, so Acute polymorphic psychotic disorder with symptoms of schizophrenia. So minds um, without symptoms of schizophrenia. An acute psychotic disorder in which hallucinations, delusions or perceptual disturbances are obvious but markedly variable. Changing from day to day or even from hour to hour. Emotional turmoil with intense transient feelings of happiness or ecstasy or anxiety and irritability is also frequently present. The polymorphism and instability are characteristic for the overall clinical picture and the psychotic features do not justify a diagnosis of schizophrenia. These disorders often have an abrupt onset developing rapidly within a few days and they frequently show a rapid resolution of symptoms with no recurrence. If the symptoms persist, the diagnosis should be changed to persistent delusional disorder. So that's probably going to be the next diagnosis then because it's been going on for many many years but there's still not an awful lot online other than scholarly articles um so maybe i need to change this so if you feel comfortable please do let me know what you think of the diagnosis and what your experience of being diagnosed has been um and like this video comment actually you can't comment at the moment on my youtube channel so find me on facebook twitter and instagram at mama may blog i'd love to chat to you then ciao for now peace love and shimmies